Hi there, I'm Sincere Gonzalez. I'm a realtor in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Today is March 16th, 2020. And unfortunately, we are in the middle of this horrifying situation worldwide called the coronavirus. And I just wanna to say to everyone that I hope you are doing well. I hope you are staying healthy and I hope you're remembering to wash those hands. Also, I just wanna point out that I feel that this is going to blow over soon and we are going to get back into normalcy and you know shopping for homes because people are going to need homes to move into and take advantage of these all-time low interest rates that we have been seeing for the past few months here all right so this video is moving to florida i have compiled some information that should prove to be helpful for people that are considering moving to florida all right we're going to talk about why so many people move here we're going to talk about what areas might be right for you and your family and we are going to talk about when you're ready to buy a home where do you start what is the process so okay the first thing why do people move here well first of all the weather is amazing winters are beautiful when everybody else is knee deep in snow we are experiencing weather like this outside today it's really pretty it's really satisfying to live in florida and be outside and get some sunshine and it's just good for your health good for your mood and there's a lot of outdoor activities that you can do with your family and pretty much never ever be bored all right so yeah there disney disney world is another big reason um we have 1350 miles of coastline that's a lot of coastline a lot of beachfront property and a lot of um, beautiful beaches i'm going to mention real quickly some of my favorite beach areas since i've been a floridian for almost my entire life i've been here since 1980 some of my favorite beach areas are going to be siesta key amelia island sanibel island and the panhandle um we have amazing seafood we have gulf you know fresh gulf shrimp because it comes from here um we have amazing grouper sandwiches key lime pie is like the florida dessert of choice or whatever it's really delicious some of my favorite seafood places that stick out from in my mind that stick out in my mind from being a floridian almost my entire life are joe stone crab in miami oh my god if you are in miami you have to check out joe stone crab the old salty dog in sarasota and in sanibel dock fords duck ford's grill they have a dish called the yucatan shrimp that is just to die for just google it it's amazing if you're in sanibel island you have to try this dish okay have you tried it before comment down below also if you know the season for the stone crab in joe stone crab in miami please comment down below that would be super helpful for everybody to know because it is seasonal if you show up there and it's not stone crab season it, they probably won't even be open but anyway another reason why people want to live in florida is you know we we're the capital of like roller coasters i think like uh disney world disney parks animal kingdom sea world islands of adventure bush gardens just to name a few of the many roller coasters so if you have children i mean that's a really fun place to live um, where you could take a day trip or a weekend trip and and really provide entertainment for your children it's really cool um a lot of outdoor activities that you can do pretty much anywhere in florida you could go you mean water skiing sailing golf fishing all kinds of things that you could do outdoors any day of the year okay so there are some cons okay so it gets hot in the summer we all know that it's florida um we are the third most populous state so there's some traffic to deal with you know especially snowbird season which is november through april a lot of snowbirds come to florida and traffic increases big time but you know what it's something that you trade off uh, for being in weather like this year round right and sometimes we have to deal with hurricanes hurricanes you know there's nothing good about a hurricane but i guess if there is one thing is that you get enough time to prepare you get um in port st in particular most of the homes are newer so they're all equipped with um hurricane shutters and we're really kind of ready and it's it's something that you eventually get used to so f why port st lucy well i'm a realtor in port st lucy and i came from miami in 2003 so i chose port st lucy because of its location because it has pretty beaches because you know you could take cool day trips everywhere from from this location um home prices have always been lower than other places around the country and the crime rate is pretty low also port st lucy is kind of like an up-and-coming place so it is one of the reasons i selected port st lucy as my residence 
area. Uh, I did a previous video entitled five reasons why you should consider living in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and I'm going to put it up here for you. Okay. So when you're done watching this one, you could go check that one out. It goes a little bit more into detail. All right. So, um, median home prices in Florida. I'm going to go quickly over this. Miami median home price is 366. Tampa 245. Orlando 257 and Port St. Lucie is the lowest at 234. You really do get a lot of bang for your buck when you're buying a house um, in Port St. Lucie, Florida. All right, so what should you do if you're ready to buy a house? First thing you should do is find a realtor. You need to do some research, you know, check out their reviews on Google, check out their YouTube channel, check out their Instagram, their Facebook, you know, make sure that they're really experienced and that they're going to do a good job for you. You want to work with someone that knows what they're doing. Um, the realtor is going to take you to phone call number two. The first, the second thing you should do after if, if selecting an agent that you're going to work with is, I mean, they're going to provide you with the name of a trusted local expert lender. It's very important to have a good lender as much as it is to have a good realtor, because I mean, the, it's like a team that you work with that ultimately gets you what you want, which is the house of your dreams for, you know, the right price and the right terms and everything. Um, that lender is going to, you're going to have a very important conversation with that lender. They're going to tell you how much you can afford, um, what you can expect to pay at closing for, you know, for your closing costs and, um, you know, what the interest rate is going to be, what your mortgage payment is going to be. You know, you want to make sure you have a good long conversation with them and they're really going to um, point you in the right direction and give you that pre-approval letter. Okay. So once you have that pre-approval letter, you go back to your agent, your realtor, and you tell them about what you want to find in a home. What is important to you and your family? You know, is it three bedrooms, four bedrooms? Do you want a pool? What is it that you're looking for? Once um, you tell your agent what you're looking for, they're going to set you up with alerts, right? So every time a house comes on the market with your criteria, it's going to go straight to your email. And then you tell your agent, yes, I love this house. I want to see it. Or no, I don't like this. Or I like, you know, you give them your agent a really good idea of what it is that you're looking for. Um, also, you're going to want to do research on your own. You're going to go on Zillow.com, Realtor.com. And whenever you see a house that you really love, you send that house to your agent and they can add it to your list of homes that you want to see when you're in the area. Um, and if it's already sold, because sometimes that's what happens, at least it gives your agent a really good idea of what you're looking for. So by all means, send any research you find, any house that you find that you like, you send that to your agent. And that will be good in the end to give them an idea of what it is that you're looking for. All right. Um, so realtor and lender, those are the two important phone calls that you need to make. Now, when you decide you're going to come to the area, you need to let your realtor know, Hey, listen, I'm coming on this date. Okay. So you're coming on that date. We'll separate that entire day for you so that we can you know, have plenty of time to look at all the houses you want to see, how, look at all the different neighborhoods and show you the, you know, where the restaurants are and all the cool things that will make you ultimately decide if this is going to be the area for you. Okay. Let's say you come to the town, to Port St. Lucie, for example, and you're ready and you have your pre-approval letter and you find the house of your dreams. We're going to make an offer. We're going to, um, I'm going to put it in writing for you and you're going to sign it electronically or face to face, depending on what the situation is. And, um, you know, if it's a hot house in a hot market, there is going to be multiple offers. That is where having an experienced agent is going to be super important. Um, I have personally won many multiple offer situations. Your agent, if your agent is experienced, your agent is going to help you with some tricks and different ideas going to help you stand out against the competitors and ultimately win. Usually when it's a multiple offer situation, I win. <laughs> so um, anyway, find somebody good that is going to work for you, somebody experienced because, you know, it's kind of sad when you have your heart set on a house and then you lose <laughs> two multiple offers. But anyway, I mean, it does happen even to me sometimes. So it's, it's just part of the process. All right. So that um, lender is going to tell you what you can afford so that you're not searching for homes in the wrong price range. Let's say you're searching for homes in the $300,000 price range and you can really only afford $200,000. You know, you want to make sure that you have spoken to your lender and you are sure of what you can afford so that you can 
ultimately find a house in the right price range. All right, anyway, so you call your realtor, you let them know you're coming and they'll you know, set aside time for you. And then when you find the right house, um, you, you, know, you make an offer. If it does get accepted, then you have three days to make your escrow money deposit. Usually that's negotiable. So it could be anywhere from 2,000 to you know 5,000. It could be more, it depends on the terms negotiated, right? Um, you have three days to make that deposit and that deposit is held in with a title company in Florida and it goes toward your closing costs and toward your down payment, okay? Um, you could do this by wire transfer or if you're still in town, you can do it by personal check. All right, so now your offer gets accepted, you put in your deposit, you have either 10 to 15 days to inspect the house, right? And your realtor should be able to provide you with the name of a local inspector that is trusted, that is reputable, and that is gonna give you a very good inspection report. The inspection can cost you anywhere from 300 all the way up to like $600, right? I have local inspectors that I, have worked with for years i can send you the names of some great inspectors if you are going to be inspecting a house in port st lucie florida um then okay so that inspector is gonna check every nook and cranny of that house out for you and put it all into a very long and detailed report okay and i prepare all of my clients mentally because there's never a perfect inspection report every inspection report is going to come back with minor issues you know cracks here whatever there's always going to be something right but i prepare my buyers mentally because i just want them to know that that is going to come back with small things we are looking for major things that are going to be very expensive or that are going to be expensive to repair like roof issues plumbing electrical that kind of situation is what we are looking for with our inspection report so now you have reviewed your inspection report and you decide yep i still want this house then you move forward if for whatever reason you know you don't want to proceed with that house for any reason you have those that inspection period which is 10 to 15 days depending on what was negotiated up front to change your mind on that house for any reason at all it could be for the smallest thing you can change your mind then we request a cancellation of contract and that gives you the right to get your money back the money that was deposited into escrow if you're looking to buy a house in florida i highly recommend that you check out the different areas decide what area is going to be right for you find a realtor talk to a lender get a pre-approval letter tell your realtor when you're coming to town do your research on zillow check out google earth you know explore you know you can really zoom into neighborhoods and zoom into beaches and zoom into the area to make sure it's something that you like um and then my friend, you too can become a Florida resident. This is Sincere Gonzalez in the middle of the coronavirus situation. I hope everybody is safe. I hope everybody takes care. And I hope that when you are ready to buy a house in Florida, you call me at 772-200-9112. I am going to leave the links to all the amazing seafood restaurants, beaches, and different things that I mentioned in this video down below for you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call me. I think I already said it, but I'll say it again, 772-200-9112. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as I will be posting much more information about moving to Florida in the coming days. Be safe, everyone. Bye.